Hey guys, Jano Zero, how you doing? I hope all is well in YouTube land. <laughs> Whatever part of the world that you are in, in my part of the world, it is hot. I mean, hot. It's, uh, it's, we got a little bit of a heat wave going on, and uh, it's been really warm, so we're substituting the coffee today for a bottle of water. Loud motorcycle. All right, um, and that's kind of going to be what the uh, my topic is today. This video is as much a reminder to myself as it is uh, to anybody who happens to watch it. Uh, homestead hazards, man, uh, and the heat. Heat in the dog days of summer is a hazard. Uh, you probably see my shirts wet and sweaty. Um, the heat, man, is is something that. Uh, that I, I have a hard time dealing with um, and I let it creep up on me without even realizing that I'm doing it man it's every times when you get outside you know I mean everybody we get busy we get outside we get into go mode and we want to get the project done or get whatever done that we're working on and next thing you know you're out there frying like a piece of bacon you don't even realize it until you're dehydrated and you start getting a headache or uh, you get overheated I mean there's just all kinds of heat related dangers you know hyper hyperthermia and heat stroke and sunstroke and it's just and the the medication that I take for my blood pressure I gotta be especially careful in the sun and the heat so I always have to stop and remind myself drink you need to drink and and stay hydrated and drink good stuff uh, I drink a lot of water but I drink a lot of we have we buy the big Gatorade mixes and I buy Gatorade mixes and sometimes, believe it or not, the uh, electrolyte packets that we get from the uh, the Hibbley store, Tractor Supply, Rural King, uh, any, any kind of feed store, they have the little electrolyte packets for, for animals. I will put some of those into my water as well uh, and keep it so that I can keep electrolytes flowing through me uh, and just try to keep myself hydrated uh, as I can. And, uh, and cool, uh, I had to remind myself to find some shade. Uh, a lot of times in the summertime, I put my summer hat on, I take my own shade with me. Uh, this white brim hat, uh, it makes a lot of shade for my head and for my shoulders. Um, and then sometimes i got to come and sit on the porch or go in the house and sit in the air conditioning for a minute. You know, man, we need to have like a saint air conditioner dude day, man, because I would be miserable. I personally would be absolutely miserable without air conditioning, uh, especially when I'm trying to sleep. So there we go. We need a saint air conditioner dude day here in our country. <laughs> uh, but you know it's just one of them things, uh, and I got to remind myself to to kind of slow down. And uh, and oftentimes I'll I'll get up early, early, early in the morning, uh, you know, an hour or so before daylight, and start on my stuff, uh, and start getting my stuff knocked out. And then uh, the heat of the day here where I'm at in Southern Ohio, uh, usually about two o'clock, I've had enough, and I go in and I will sit until five five thirty uh, through the heat of the day, find some shade, go in the house and sit in the air conditioning, take a little bit of a nap. Uh, and then get up and go till you know till after dark if I'm if I got a whole lot going on, rather than to try to you know just just go through the heat of the day and and, uh, and make myself sick. Uh, it, it takes me a couple of days to recover. When I get overheated, dehydrated, it, uh, and the older I get, it seems like it takes me longer to recover from that. So I just try to avoid it altogether. Uh, and there are you know a lot of different symptoms, uh, a lot of different symptoms for a lot of different uh, heat related conditions that uh, I would. Highly recommend that every, anybody and everybody who is going to be outdoors for an extended period of time, uh, you know, look up and research a little bit on, uh, because it, it can be very dangerous and it can be life-threatening in some situations. It can be life-threatening. So just a reminder, you know, and, and speaking of the heat, we have all of our critters here. They, they've already put out heat advisories for this coming uh, end of the week and weekend. It's going to be real hot, man. So we're taking you know extra precautions, uh, getting things in place for all of our critters so the day will have a little bit of relief from the heat uh, you know the fans you guys remember the little solar fans that we use uh, and we have some box fans and oscillating fans and stuff like that, that that we all run off of solar panels that way during the heat of the day when the sun is beating down then the fans you know the panels are making power and the fans are running and just that bit of air movement uh, helps him cool off too. The rabbit barn, we have water bottles that we that we fill up like these, uh, and most of the time they're the two liter the two liter bottles. We fill them up, we put them in the freezer and freeze them, 
Not only does that help the freezer run more efficiently because you have more mass in it, but you can take them and lay them in the cages and the rabbits can lay up next to them and keep cool. Um, and on top of that, we have uh, ceramic floor tiles that we got on a clearance sale uh, from our local Lowe's here uh, that we put in the freezer and that ceramic gets you know, freezing cold. Uh, and we put those in our rabbit cages as well, uh, and they can lay on they can lay on top of those, lay it next to the bottle, and they can stay pretty cool. Especially the doe rabbits that have babies, we take particular care of them because the babies heat is really hard on rabbits, um, and so you just need to make sure to take some precautions to make sure they've got plenty of cool, clean water to drink. Um, and in our water during the summertime, we treat our, all, of our, all of our animals' water with electrolytes just to kind of help them, uh, you know, stay functioning and, uh, and water bottles. And uh, Pork Chop will make sure that her favorite mud hole stays wet and cool so that she can get in there and cool off. Uh, the chickens have, uh, have a fan inside the chicken house. Um, it just, we're just taking all these precautions uh, to make sure that our critters are going to be as comfortable as possible uh, through these dog day heat uh, waves that we're going to be going through as well as ourselves uh, because you know our critters those are our, that's our livelihood we got to make sure that they are happy and productive um, so that we can continue living the lifestyle that we live so uh, there you have it uh, that's just some ideas um, and I'm sure there's going to be a lot of folks who uh, I hope anyway there's going to be a lot of folks who share other little tidbits of information and ideas uh, in the comment section so that everybody can kind of kind of you know remind themselves and see what other people do to get ready for the heat and see how other people deal with the heat uh, so that we can all stay healthy for ourselves uh, and we can all stay you know have nice happy healthy productive critters through these uh, really hot days so anyway you know and it, for us it's the humidity man we are humid you can probably see I don't know how well the camera will pick it up but you can probably see like a haze in the background where everything is so green uh, and it's hot and it's humid and that makes me sweat. I mean, I, being a big fat guy, I sweat anyway, no matter what I'm doing. But uh, you know, I really pour pour out the sweat when it, when he's uh, in these conditions. So, uh, and like I say, that we just we got to remind ourselves to uh, stop. It's okay. It's okay to stop and take a break and drink some water, rehydrate. You know, it's okay to sit down for a few minutes. It's uh, it's okay to do that. And we need to all remember that. And we need to all put that in place when we're out uh, doing our chores, working in our garden, even if your regular daily job is, uh, you know, a carpenter or a construction worker or whatever, where you're outside, uh, you know, it's it, make sure that you uh, take care of yourself, man, because it can be dangerous when it gets really hot like this, so. Okay, I'm rambling on. I will shut up. Uh, you guys, thank you very much uh, for watching. Thank you in advance for uh, any helpful tidbits of information and ideas in the comment section. Um, you guys have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Oh, God bless. Nian. Buzz, buzz. The end.